The United Kingdom, Germany, and Australia have all banned multicolored tattoos. Since tattoos have been around since at least 3100 BC, why now the sudden concern for the safety of tattooing? Hi, I'm Dr. Messina, the president of Dr. Undo Tattoo, and we're going to discuss today why these areas have banned the use of certain colored inks and what does it mean not only for the tattoo consumer but for the United States as well. This all stemmed from a concern that does tattoo ink create malignancies? Specifically, malignancies in the liver, the skin, and the kidney. When we look at statistics, we find that 30% of the American population has at least one tattoo. 17% have multiple tattoos. The number one country for tattooing is Italy at 48%, followed by Sweden at 47%. So we're talking about millions and millions of people with tattoos. And if the inks in those tattoos can cause cancer, well, then we're in for a real public health catastrophe. Let's see where this stemmed from. It really stemmed from a study done in Australia in 2016. They had noted that it takes approximately 4,000 substances to create a colored ink. They took 49 ink samples from different companies, and they found that every one of them, upon analysis, had substances in them that didn't match up with the substances that they said was in there. That caused a big red flag because now there was a concern as to what's really in those inks if they were not truthful about what was placed in there in the first place. However, at that time, Australia did announce that they don't have enough hard data to conclusively say that tattoo inks cause any type of malignancy. The United Kingdom does not have the FDA as we have in the United States. They have a program called REACH. That stands for Registration, Evaluation, Authorization, and Chemical Restriction. And REACH investigated multicolored inks as well. And they found that many multicolored inks have substances in there that are known to cause cancer of the liver and kidney. Some of the substances were azo dyes or aromatic hydrocarbons, also certain metals. You might say, why do they need to have these substances in there? Well, it's probably due to the fact that the ink manufacturer wants to create a product that they could tell the artist, use our product, this is a superior ink, and it's not going to break down by the UV rays of the sun, and it's going to last longer. That's why they put it there. We have to remember, they're manufacturing a product that they intend to last for a lifetime. The United Kingdom did not start an immediate ban of these colors. Instead, they gave a 12-month grace period for the ink manufacturers to remove these substances. Unfortunately, that was easier said than done, forcing them to ban the use of two colors in particular, the blue 15.3, and green number seven. Now that might seem on the surface like it's only two colors, big deal. The problem is those two colors in particular are used in a wide variety of inks. They might be in flesh colored inks, muted inks, of course greens and blues, and it might give different textures to the ink. In fact, it accounts for approximately 48% of the artist's color palette. It would not only affect green and blue, but brown, purple, some reds, a lot of different colors. The reasoning behind England's strong stance was for public health concerns. They were concerned that people might develop at the minimum skin irritation from these substances and at the worst case scenario, malignancies. They also felt that the UV light and the breakdown of these two inks will lead to it being deposited in the lymphatic system, which would then carry it around to the rest of the body. So at the current time, there is a restriction to placing these colored inks in the United Kingdom, 
Germany, and Australia. So what is this going to mean for America? Well, we're a little different. We have the Food and Drug Administration, and the FDA is not really involved in the creation of Tattoo Inc. So you're going to be put aside for at least a little while. In the United States, ink manufacturers, since they're not regulated by the FDA, can put almost any substance they desire in an ink. Many times it's an oil or a metallic particle to give it longevity or a certain color snap. So I think in the United States, we're going to be relatively safe. That'll change if studies prove that these inks do cause malignancies. It's going to be very difficult to prove that an ink causes a specific malignancy. We would have to find somebody with no other risk factors for that malignancy who happens to have a tattoo with these colors in it. And then we would have to find thousands of individuals with the same exact scenario to try to make a correlation between the tattoo and the malignancy. It's going to be a very challenging thing to do. Therefore, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to actually truly associate tattoo ink to creation of malignancies. So what do you do if you happen to have a blue tattoo? Blue tattoos are very pretty. In fact, blue is one of the rarest colors to find in nature. It's only found in some fish and some birds. Blue is also a very soothing color. And when patients were asked, which doctors do they trust more? A doctor in black scrubs or a doctor in blue scrubs? They chose the blue scrub. It wasn't by mistake. I read that article and I threw out all my black scrubs. So getting back to the point, what do you do if you have a blue tattoo? First off, I wouldn't sweat it out right now. Don't worry about the sun breaking it down and bringing it to the lymphatics. It's been doing that already. And if you laser it, you're going to be basically increasing that process. You're just going to shatter the ink at a greater rate and send it to your lymphatics. In fact, your lymph nodes turn the color of the ink after every laser tattoo removal session. Personally, I don't think it's a very big issue at the moment. The reason why is we've been doing laser tattoo removal since 1962. I know it became very popular in the late 1990s, early 2000s, but it's been around a long time, and we haven't seen a sudden preponderance of patients with liver and renal malignancies after getting their tattoos lasered. So I don't think it's going to become a great medical problem or some kind of a public health issue. So if you have these tattoos and multicolored tattoos, I wouldn't get all upset right now. I would sit back and see what the literature brings us in the future. I hope you liked this video and learned something about it. I hope it gave you a little peace of mind should you have green and blue ink tattoos. If you do like this, I'd appreciate it if you click subscribe, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, and I'll keep making these educational videos. Take care and have a good day.